Hey, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a part and how to use the planes and actually how to rotate planes on angles. So we're going to go ahead and open up Design Spark mechanical. I'll be doing this tutorial in millimeters. So we'll go ahead and go to New, New Design, or actually I will be doing this in inches. Go ahead and um, go to Plan View. We're going to sketch out a basic part, so we're going to come up here to the rectangle tool. We're going to define from center, make sure that's checked. And then we're going to drag out. We're going to do a 3.5 by 2. And then we're going to come over here to the um, Create Rounded Corners tab. And we're going to do a uh, 0.25 inch radius. And we're going to just do that to all four corners of our part. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get the uh, circle tool. And we're going to do a uh, point 0.12. Or actually, let's go a little bit bigger with that. Let's go point 0.25. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and do that on all of these corners. Now you'll notice when I get to the spot, puts a little mark there, so that's going to be what we need to look for. It's that little, it creates two little corn, two little square boxes on the corner of the radius, and that's going to be an indicator that you're in the location to make your 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 uh, hole. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and um, extrude this. So go ahead and go to pull. We're going to spin this. And then we're going to give it a little pull, maybe like, a, let's undo that. Let's click on it. Let's do 0.25 thick. And then we'll select the click off. Now we're going to rotate this. We're actually going to put a uh, plane here. So we'll go ahead and click on the plane. And now we're going to go ahead and ro spin this and rotate this. So now we're going to go ahead and move this plane. So we want to change the anchor point from here. So we want to come up here, click Anchor, we want to move it to there, and then we want to grab the blue, and we're going to pull this up a little bit. So we want, it, we want it to be, just go 30, actually undo that, 3, 330 is what I meant to put in, 330, 330 degrees, okay, so from the Point. So now we're going to go. Now we have this plane that we're going to be able to draw on. So we're going to rotate the plane around this way, right like this. And then we're going to go to select. We're going to click here, and we're going to go to plan view. And we're going to click this one. Do the plan view too. Okay. So now this is going to be where our parts, our uh, angled parts, going to be. Now we're going to go ahead and click in the center there. We're going to drag that out. We're going to go one. Let's go ahead and make this one. And you're going to put a um, hole in the middle there. Let's go ahead and make this 0.5. Okay, now you're going to go ahead and put a line in the middle. So we're going to go straight down here off to the uh, plate. So we're going to go 1.25 and then select the click off. Now you're going to get your offset tool, which is this with the two little lines. I'm going to go ahead and offset that up 0.2. Now you're going to offset this down the same, so type in 0.2. Okay, now you're going to go ahead and get your circle tool. You're going to put a circle right here. Okay, now you're going to get your trim away tool. Select the click off, create your trim away tool, and trim these right here. Trim that piece out. Trim this middle line. You don't need it anymore. And then you're going to go ahead and trim those. Okay, now you want to put a circle in here, so get your circle tool. And then you'll go ahead and go um, 0.15. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and extrude this. So go ahead and get spin. Now go to pull. You're going to pull this stuff here. So you're going to hold down your uh, control key. And you're going to pull up to this face. 
let's go ahead and uh, spin this. Okay, this is going to be our part. So what we can do is we can modify this here. And go ahead and do the same thing here. Go change your, um, your anchor point to there. We can grab that and move it down. If we want to create another piece of art, move it forward. So let's go ahead and undo that for now. Go ahead and spin this. I want to actually move this. Let's see if I can pull this piece in. That actually pulls it in there. Or, okay, let's undo that. Okay, I'm going to modify this, this base here. So hold down the control key. I'll get these. And then we're going to pull this out a little bit farther. Half an inch. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and move these holes. So let's click on that, that by holding down the control key and go to move. And then we're going to move the holes 0.5. We'll go select to click off. Now we'll go ahead and spin this. And this is going to be our plate, the part that's angled in here. Now what you can do is if you don't need this, you could either delete this plane here or you can click on it and it'll go away. Now we can go ahead and add our, our details to this part. We're going to go ahead and get the pool. We're going to click till everything is selected. Then we're going to drag 0 0.04. It's going to be our um, fillet. I'm going to do the same here. Oh point oh four. I'm going to put a fillet here. Oh point oh four. Let's go ahead and spin this. Make sure we're putting the fillets where we need to put them. And then uh, that's good there. Now we're going to go do the same. We're going to put a fillet there. Actually, undo that. I think we need to actually get rid of this, get rid of that hole there. And then you're gonna do the pull to the outside line right here. Then we're gonna click here and add another. Well, let's get rid of the one in the middle, delete. Let's click there and go 0.02. Make that a little bit smaller. Now you're going to select all of these. Let's go ahead and spin this. this these look kind of funky to me. Yeah, these holes came out kind of, kind of janky. So let's go ahead and I'm going to get rid of these. Then we're going to go ahead and view our sketch from the top. I'm going to put some new holes in here. So let's go ahead and uh, click on the base. Go down to our spot there. We'll type 0.25. Go to our spot over there, 0.25. Now you'll go ahead and uh, pull these through. Spin it. Let's go to pull. Select these two by holding down the control key. Pull them through the bottom. Okay, now we're going to get rid of these. By holding down Control key, delete. All right, let's go ahead and pull. Let's select all of these. Select all of those. Come over here to your chamfer. We're going to add a chamfer to this. So just go ahead and click and pull. 0.04 chamfer, so the screws will fit in there. Go ahead and view this by top, and then view by the uh, left. Uh, let's go ahead and view by the bottom, or the back of it, I should say. Okay, so basically, um, we created this part. Uh, we used the uh, plane, and then we um, changed the anchor point to here, 
and then we rotated the plane. So this is how you would do that in Design Spark Mechanical. So now you have your part here with your angled part in the middle. All right, we're going to go back to view by asymmetric. That's going to end today's tutorial. Hopefully you enjoy watching and you um, got something out of the video. Okay, thanks for watching.